Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate, and welcome back to Airport CEO. In the last episode, I kind of screwed up the editing. Only one of you noticed in the comments, which means that no one's finishing my videos, which makes me feel very sad. I'm just going to sing myself a lullaby, or maybe a little nursery rhyme at the end of this one, and uh, see if anyone watches it. No one watches it, never mind. Anyway, shut up, Tiny Pirate. So, we have some jobs to do. The first one is I need to... I'm going to actually rename these one, uh, two. I've had a little offline play so I could figure out how to make everything work because this game is, oh, it's, it's complex. It's complex in a good way. And we're going to turn this and this stand off general aviation. The other thing we really need to do, and I want to get it underway pretty promptly, is get, oh, where's my, hmm. I've got my contract coming in. Uh, general dashboard. Where's my general uh, operations? Uh, jet A1. Uh, where's my contract? I think I've got a contract coming in for some jet fuel. And why? Do, oh, I, there's something happening. There is supposed to be jet fuel coming in. Zip fuel and... Why have I got zip fuel and dev fuel? I've got two fuel contracts. That seems odd. Oh, no, that's that's not... There it is. What am I saying? Uh, nature fuel. That's the one I've got. I've got two airline contracts offered. Now, what's important is I actually... Need, that's not an airline contract. That's the airline contract. And it wants six flights over four days. You know what? I actually want uh, another airline to come in. Who else are we going to have? I think we will have... CLM Airlines, they have uh, six flights over four, three or four days as well. So we've got two stands ready to take planes, which I think will be just fine. So we've signed that. And I noticed something else when I was last filling around as well, and that was that this shop here, there's no one working it. I don't know why. So Swift Veg and Wellington Airport, brand new chain of small vegetarian restaurants. Yes. Let's inflict vegetarian restaurants on our people. So that contract signed. This one is up and running. And it looks like it's made a bit of money. Contract not complete? Why not? At least... It, okay, it's going to... Okay, if it completes well, then it's going to give us money. Whew. Okay, so we have a bunch of flight work to do. We also need to recruit more staff. Because I've realized that the people who stand around here... These are uh, ramp agents. And they are vital vital for aircraft operations so uh, oh they've also updated the tutorial worth saying they've updated it we've already done almost everything here what we need to do is service some planes and then have these fuel services which is fine so staff i want ramp agents and i want more of them and i'm just gonna have to take just about just about anyone especially if you're skilled i'll take you because Ramp agents are the ones who will take you as well. They're the ones who turn the planes around. They're the ones who inspect them and, and make sure they're ready to go. The other thing is this is actually uh, an exit way. And it's also the exit for... Um, what is it for? It's the exit for passengers who need to leave the build, leave like a uh, check-in area. They come through here. So I need to actually give them an access. Otherwise they walk in and they walk out and come through the store. So we'll figure that out for them. Uh, which will be ho hopefully happening soon. Someone go and do something in the building space. Uh, now we need to look at... Oh, I've got something else to do as well. So, the other job to do... There's so many fun jobs to do right now, which is quite cool. Is to get a taxiway in. Because what we have here is... Oh, I don't have enough money. I'm going to have to wait. I thought, what's happening now is planes are landing and then having to drive up and down the runway to exit the runway. And what I really want them to do is drive, get off the runway, and then be ready the next plane to get on. So, you know, exactly what a taxiway is for. But we haven't done that properly just yet, so we will have to fix that up. Meanwhile, flights. I'm going to cancel all of these flights um, because I've kind of... This is... Yeah, this is, these are not good, so I need to fix these up. I haven't done this very well. I need to have thought about this a bit better. So a little bit of experience has helped. So what we know is stands three and four are open for commercial flights. We have three days to fit a bunch of them in. So this one is going to be a seven o'clock flight. And then this one, I'm going to push this one out to kind of um, 
12 o'clock. I'm going to try and do three a day. And then I'm going to go for like a, a maybe a five o'clock flight. I think three will keep it. Oh, maybe a bit later. Six o'clock. There we go. So three of maple um, on the, what is it, Sunday. And then on Monday, we're going to do three more. So we'll have like another nice early one about there. And a... Uh, two o'clock, say, two ten, whatever that was, and a late afternoon one. Now back here, CLM also have flights, so from Sunday we'll give them uh, a flight, sort of alternating slightly. Yeah, see, we're gonna just syncopate the flights to try and allow, and we've got three days to do it, so I think this will be fine. And then on Tuesday, um, we can just uh, get them started nice and early and have them done by 11 and we'll pick up more flight contracts as well so that should be that should be pretty good i think and we should be able to have planes coming and going and this is where we're going to get general aviation i'm just going to leave the oh actually no i'm going to turn that on before i accidentally break everything everything should be fine repair what's wrong with it in the first place what is it what have they been doing to it Never mind. So baggage connection. Yes, yes, yes. That's all fine. Yes, yes, yes. So security. Everything is ready to go there. Put some doors in. We like to have doors here, not just letting everything hang out. And I think we're basically ready for operations. Uh, should be starting fairly soon. And we're going to keep an eye on why I can't seem to be getting a fuel depot. Uh, I could be... Yeah, it's a costing, perhaps, so... I don't want this one, I want Avgas 1. So we won't be able to fuel up the planes necessarily, which is a bit of a shame. Maybe if I got some cash uh, economy, could I just borrow a bit of money? Could I have a small piece of money, please? I don't... Wow, 200,000? Um, yes, we will totally take your money. I am sure... I'm sure we can pay it back. Ah, here we go. I have found it. This is where we have the list. Uh, we're 49 minutes away from figuring out how to run jet fuel. And I will need to buy some fuel trucks at the same time. So we just need to wait for that to come in. Someone's working very hard. 6 a.m. Eureka. Jet fuel. This is how it works. I can remember now. So we just got to... Got new applicants. No, I don't care about that. Well, maybe... Maybe do I? One more... Okay, so we'll just pause for a second. One more ramp agent, a non-terrible one. You're pretty not terrible. Wow, you're amazing. Wow, not very technical. Um, you're not very technical. I think you, Rachel, were kind of a good... Oopsie. I just I just fired her. Oh, I'm sorry, Rachel. Oh, she's back again. We'll hire her again. We like to live life on the edge. Come on, applicants. Um, Ole? Ole? We'll have him as well. Okay, so that should be fine. So I think we've learned how to make fuel. Yes, we have. So, come here. I want jet fuel. And I think right here will be good. And we're going to give it an extra fuel tank for jet fuel. I'm going to park this one right there. And we will want a truck as well. So where are we? Procurement, economy... Uh, I have gas or jet fuel. We were going. I should have given it two. Never mind. I do want two of them in due course because turning around the planes, getting the flights in and out is vital. And here's one of our first passengers. Look, there's a beautiful. What, what is it? What is it? What are you? General Aviation. You're a small Cessna. And what services do you want? You want a bit of fuel? And there was no one on there and no one's going to take off. So it's not a passenger flight. So these General Aviation are just going to park up and earn us a little bit of money on fuel and servicing. And sort of parking fees so I guess it's gonna hang around for uh, three hours and 30 minutes on the ground and just spend I don't know the morning here four hours on the ground here before it leaves again that's good to know aircraft inspection is 100% I guess they don't need inspection like the commercial flights I'm not too sure is someone gonna come and build these I think our contractors are turning up now with all the goods they need here is our first general aviation flight Yes, I mean commercial aviation. So it's going to spend three hours on the ground. Land at seven, take off at ten. It's passengers, it's going to need fuel. It went Christchurch to Wellington. And it's 
it's going to go back again, I imagine. Actually reminds me, while we're here, let's get the taxiway up and running for um, everything else. So we'll get this down to sort of uh, here and then here. And I want another one to go down this way as well. Uh, here and... Yeah, something like that. Did I... No, I didn't do that right. Okay, don't like this. Cancel. Oh, bulldoze. Get rid of that. And taxiway. Oh, gosh. Infrastructure. Taxiway. Uh, taxi. Asphalt. Okay, cool. So, right, plane is in. And if we look closely, we'll see that they're going to start whipping the baggage out, which is cool. It's being inspected by ramp agents, I suspect. And it can't have fuel yet because we don't have any fuel uh, system. So it can't ask for it, which is fine. It will get there. Let's speed things up a little bit. Yep, they're inspecting it. Down comes the luggage, so I'm just going to turn on the luggage thing so we can watch that happen. So, luggage is going to go off. We'll see if anything gets destroyed. Some of it does. No one seems to complain yet, but it does happen. So, bags go on, whizz into our underground system. I've got enough room here that I could probably put two in if I need to. Don't think I need to. Bags going to come out. Are any of them bad today? Bags, have you been naughty? Are you trouble? Oh, one of them is, and blah, <laughs> two of them, three of them. No one's getting their stuff today. It's all just being shredded. Never mind. The ones that are here will get their bags eventually. Going to come up. And actually, we don't. Oh, we've only got one service desk. I think that's because each flight only needs one desk. So the the staff are figuring this out themselves. Um, bags are coming on. Are we going to see people use them? I hope so. It's quite a nice little feature. They're coming around. Oh, here we go. I'm actually surprised they aren't hovering over the conveyor belts, jamming in each other's way. This is, you know, blimmin running trolleys into each other's ankles. That's the traditional way. These people are much too sensible. Here we go. You're getting your bags? That's kind of cool. And then off you go. They're carrying the bags even. That's that's really grand. So, oh, I can actually see this was a class A. They were flying Wellington Christchurch. Oh, there's none of toilets here. We know that. The airport's not very fun. Well, we also know that. Sasha Shivinko. Uh, yeah, hunger and bladder. Hunger? Well, I guess one of the things is we don't have any food opportunities here that are outside of the secure zone. Like, you can only get yourself a bit of a vegetarian meal on the way through. Everyone else just comes out, comes through, and they're off again. So, that's something to think about. In fact, that might be what some of the space is down here. Might use it for that. But we'll see. This guy's baggage where are you going are you going to turn around and go and park and jet fuel are oh, we're waiting now procurement do i have another yes we need another one of those so uh review contract all right well we should be getting some fuel there you go good f gas is coming and over here you are ready to go fairly soon. And I'm... Oh, look, this is brilliant. Already sorted. When I was first playing this through, they couldn't get this on time. And I got oh, lots of flights delayed because they couldn't get inspected on time. I didn't have enough staff. But just recruiting a few more people seems to have helped. And now in comes... Where are you, where are you going? You don't... What, what are you doing? Oh, this guy didn't want any fuel anyway. He didn't request it. He's pushing off, and this one will want some fuel, so there's a bit more chance to make a bit more money there. Three hours on the ground again, and let's have a look at our flight scheduler. So this seems to be working, these flights all on time. Orange, I think, means it's just unknown. I mean, it's on time, but we just don't, you know, it's a bit too early to know if it's going to be late or anything. So I'm pretty confident, how much longer are these guys going to spend? 10.15, they take off. 9.57, so they're going to be gone pretty soon and probably replaced. Meanwhile, oh, this is working really well. I'm pretty pleased. We're not exactly making a lot of money, though, which is a bit of a shame. But this is actually working. Ah, here we go. Jet fuel's filled up, filling up our trucks. Nice. So let's have a check what the tutorial wants us to do, because it does actually have some specific jobs. I want to serve as five general aviation flights. I've had two come through. I don't know if there was any more in the previous episode, so I'm not sure how many more we'll have to do, but I suspect, I suspect we'll have to do a few more. Here comes another one to park. 
Um, not yet on five. And this one's going to stay for... Why do they always need repairs? Oh, actually, I didn't realize this. Here's the actual turnaround monitor. Oh, look at all the things you can do. De-icing, catering cleaning. I think these are for the full release of the game. Baggage loading. So you're going to be gone for... You're here for two hours and two hours. So what about this one? Oh, brilliant baggage loading. Refueling not requested. Not requested. Boarding in process. So where are you people? Where are you going to start? When are you going to start boarding? Just just gone already? Oh, already done. And you, everyone's getting off. Deboarding. Wow, that's really cool. I really like it. It's a real blow by blow of everything you could want to know. Boarding hasn't started. Baggage loading. Boarding in process already? Really? You're going to start shoving them on already? That's quite impressive. That's some real turnaround, if that's the case. And this one here, I can see, for example, boarding pass for M432, which is this one. So you can actually track the whole thing. So where were you? And there's this boarding pass. He's going to be sitting in first class, if there is one. Needs to go to the bathroom. I'm very sorry, Teresa. That's going to be something we look at as soon as we're not going 100% horribly broke. Doesn't seem to be a priority yet. Oh, we're shredding bags. Is anyone hanging around, like, endlessly for a bag? Have you been here long? I can't tell. But they do seem to be going out fine. And here we go. People are checking in. So we've only got one desk open. That's probably... We do have too many desks. That's okay. These are small planes. We may want to, in the near future, I think almost put more, uh, more space over here. And then, I, I don't know if we just run a path around there and let people walk. That would be the small airport way, so that one's off. But yeah, it seems like it would almost make sense to run like a corridor uh, from here down. But that doesn't leave terribly much room for trucks, so I'm not sure how that would work. Not service those five yet. Soon. It's evening and the general aviation planes have been packed here for the night. The commercial flights have finished, but we actually need to sort out this taxiway here. So let me just just do that now. We're going to go down here and then we're going to come across to here. And uh, likewise here to uh, here. And what I think we need to do is set holding points along here. Uh, taxiway nodes, we'll do another one along here, and uh, taxiway taxiway nodes, we'll do one just before the runway, which seems to make sense to me. Taxiway nodes, this will make life uh, a little easier, I suspect. And uh, there as well, so planes will get on and off the runway quicker and easier, get out of each other's way. We're still losing like so much money. Oh my gosh, we have a ton of money we are not ha not getting. So I want to have a quick look at what is going on with that. So budget. Uh, what are our expenses? What are our big expenses? Loan payback. That's actually... Yeah, the loan payback and the loan interest are the biggest part of our expense now, which is a real shame. Uh, what I do want... Should never have taken it, perhaps. What I do want is to get another airline coming in. So what is that? Five daily light classes, uh, one check-in desk. Oh, eight days. Five daily light class flights uh, requiring a small standard, one check-in desk each. Five successful flights to complete. Okay, I think we can do that. Let me have a look. Uh, oh, uh, okay, so... Uh, it's going to be from Monday. Oh, so it, it wants, like... One there. Um, okay, well... Do I have to plot? I think I might have to plot that one every day. Oh, I know. See, there it is. Two, three, four, five. Boom. Okay, that's fine. We can handle that. I think, actually, we also need a few more. So, let's grab ourselves another contract uh, offered. Um, don't need fuel ones. We need airlines. So, Stripe, seven, light... Classes seven within four days. Yes, we'll do that. Um, we'll schedule those those flights up as well. Um, so oh, we better just pause for a second. 
Uh, we can't do them on that day. We can do them here. So we'll start at like five. Yeah, we'll start nice and early and then we'll space, uh, space them out a little bit. But I think we're pretty good at turning flights around. So this shouldn't be... I'll try and get a little bit of space between the next one. So this shouldn't be too bad. And we can just uh, space a few over this one as well. Cool. I think that'll work fine. Could we fit any more in? Because I'm conscious that we are very broke. So having a few more options for more money would be good. Skyline 7, 7 within two days. No. Uh, Skylink 7, 7 within three days. I think that's a bit ambitious. No. Uh, I think we will just wait on more flying for now. We'll get through Monday. And then we'll see how things are looking. And then I think we'll help a, quite a bit. Now, what did it say in the tutorial? So, uh, have we done not yet Service 5 General Airlines? That's okay. They'll come soon. I wonder if that would count as done. See, now they're going to taxi all the way up here, which is cool, because the other one just landed, and that one's taking off. $400. We're slowing down our loss of cash a little bit. Landed, and then driving. So, the little Cessna is actually that middle exit is working quite well for them. The bigger planes need to go the full length. Okay, not... We almost didn't lose money then. And, okay, so here we go. Look, we've done the fuel service. We've done the other things. Uh, the tutorials got changed, so we have done all of those bits and bobs. And now we need to go back. So, look, there's a whole new category. A regional airport. Yay. So, we've completed this part. Passenger flow, blah, blah, blah. It wants us to beautify. Build decks, desks, and seating. Build floors. So, it wants us to make the place a little bit more, a little bit more beautiful. Um, like, we could lay down some blue carpet everywhere. Is that going to look nice? $2,000? Wow, it looks a little strange. That's okay. And I think we will give the, uh, a secu secure side a slightly different grey colour, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks fine, I suppose. Uh, we do I kinda wanna change these. Oh, I can. Bright red. There we go. Oh, that's actually really cool. Is that new? I don't know. I like it though. Look, everything can be beautiful. Now I do want to build this room that they claim we need, but we are losing quite a bit of money, so I also really need to put in a bathroom, which we definitely don't have right now. <laughs> Which is a, a little bit embarrassing. Everyone's just, I don't know, holding themselves very tightly. I, I wonder if I could put some back here. I could almost shove these forward, but it might be a bit weird. So instead, it looks like I think over here I could fit in a staff room and a, a small set of bathrooms, maybe? I think that would work. But this loan is uh, kind of killing us. Where is our economy? Loans. 62,000 left. 7% interest, payment plan, time remaining, total cost, 30, wow, 33,000 cost, oh, that's quite a lot on the, the $200,000 loan, I suppose, but that's okay, we're slowing down on the losing money, and the flights are coming through on time, here comes another one, yeah, that's pretty successful. I think that's working really well. I almost want to turn off this one for general aviation and bring in uh, this at stand two for commercial because it just makes more money for us. So uh, contracts offered. Can we? We can get another seven flights in four days. Yes, we can do that. So let's just schedule that up now. We've got stand two available. And uh, it's this late in the day, so it doesn't like them to be too uh, too late on. Um, but I think we can do this without a problem. I think three. And then we can do... Yeah. The stand. Yeah, perfect. That's brilliant. Okay, let's... We'll let that run, because we're going to get more money that way, and that's what I want to see. And on the evening of Monday, we have three commercial flights running at once. Two jet fuel filler-uppers, and I think we've got three or four, I think possibly even four, 
uh, baggage handling vehicles. So I'm actually pretty confident that this is enough resources to, to do everything. Where inspections, inspections are all on time. Um, let's have a look at what needs to be done. Baggage loading is complete. We're just waiting for boarding. So we were able to turn around planes brilliantly. So we can definitely, I think, up the number of stands. We just got to break out of our money loss problem. And we're going to do that just by running flights uh, for a couple of days, I suspect. And I think what might be best is that, that I run these flights for a couple of days offline. And then we come back when we're a bit more stable in the financial situation. Build the staff room and the toilets that clearly the place needs. Because beautifying this place, well... I mean, they're happy with the floors and the plants. But we need desks and seating in a staff room. We need a staff room. Hiring staff, we've done scheduling flights we've done but that uh getting a staff room and i think a bathroom is important then we can unlock international terminal and figure out the next steps to make this big i almost wonder if we wouldn't need a whole new terminal and i mean the space over here so maybe we'd expand but we could run like a domestic terminal here essentially and then an international terminal with a massive massive building anyway that's my plan if you'd like to see it do stick around, subscribe to the channel, and make up a nursery rhyme that I sang, and write it in the comments below. Uh, the best one I might be able to give some kind of game key to or something, and it'll make everyone else think that they're missing out by waiting, or not waiting, till the end of the video. Anyway, I've been Danny Barrett. Have fun. Good night.